Happy Sabbath. It's Saturday. Uh, Jews call it Shabbat. And people who speak Spanish call it Sabado. Um, I wanted to talk about a word today that most people, many people, uh, misunderstand. The word sin, the original meaning is to go astray. That means lost or off the path. Uh, in Judaism, you're not considered guilty or punishable unless you were taught that something is a sin and you were warned that something is a sin and there are witnesses to this sin you supposedly committed. The biggest theme in, in the Bible, uh, the original Bible, the Hebrew Bible that Jesus used, um, the original words don't always mean what we've been taught, what we've heard in sermons. I've heard all kinds of sermons in my life. I'm familiar with the three Abrahamic religions. I've researched them. I've practiced them. And the theme of forgiveness is, is very present in all of those three religions. I'm talking about Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And all those books have something good in them. All those books are basically saying the same thing, the same teachings. Follow the Almighty's rules, be kind to each other, be forgiving, keep trying, be grateful. So think about some of these things on the Sabbath. In Judaism, there's actually a list of 39 activities that we're not supposed to do on the Sabbath. Because basically the Sabbath is rest. Rest your mind, rest your body. So not doing business, not driving a car, not cooking, not uh, watering the yard. Um, it's even very detailed, not tying a knot, not untying a knot. It's very fascinating. If you want to read more about it and know more about it, just... Uh, Put in the search engine 39 forbidden activities on the Sabbath. It's fascinating. And often I think that um, Jews make very good doctors and attorneys because they're so accustomed to details. Lots and lots of details because supposedly there's 613 commandments. The only ones that we don't need to do are the ones that the Almighty made impossible to do. For instance, you can't do anything involved with the temple because the temple that Solomon built is not there. So, there's still many things we could do. And uh, I'm very fascinated with the fact that there are so many commandments that are involving agriculture. We're supposed to be in touch with the land. That would be especially helpful now in times when we keep hearing on the news about food shortages in the near future. Think about it. 